22 bales of cocaine, a cache of high-powered assault rifles, an aircraft in the middle of the Southern Highway, and a daring firefight between responding officers and a team of heavily armed men. That's the scene that played out overnight when a drug plane touched down near Bladen, Toledo District around 9.30 p.m. on Thursday. Based on that information obtained, a team of four police officers from Intermediate Southern Formation were deployed to the location. Upon arrival there, they saw the plane on ground, vehicles and uh, persons around, which would indicate that cargoes was being unloaded from the plane. The four police officers attempted to engage the traffickers and uh, the number of persons who were involved in this unloading was around 15 to 20 persons and we only had four police officers. Despite being outnumbered and outgunned, the lawmen did their best to thwart the illegal operation that was happening in plain view. Not far away, the Piper Cheyenne was being offloaded as the officers looked on from their retreat. Nonetheless, these officers were brave enough and uh, attempted to engage these traffickers and uh, they subsequently came under heavy fire. Um, despite that, the officers maintained position and uh, withdrew a bit but still put themselves in a position where they could have seen what was taking place. Moments later, a white Toyota pickup truck was seen leaving the landing site, carrying what we believe was a cargo from the plane heading towards Punta Gorda town. Based on that, we deployed a team of police officers and uh, elements of the Belize Defense Force to go and mount a checkpoint on the Southern Highway going to Punta Gorda town. The vehicle in question, along with two occupants, was subsequently intercepted further down the highway. While it was not carrying any of the shipment that was discharged from the aircraft, a sweep of the general vicinity turned up a significant quantity of cocaine. We suspected more or less where they may have taken the cargo. And again, between myself and Mr. Greenwich, who was on the grounds, we communicated and uh, coordinated that searches be conducted in two particular areas. Thankfully, the search yielded 22 bales of cocaine. And just moments ago, we came across another two bills or three bills. So that will bring us to a total of 25 bills. Each bill from what we're seeing now, because we have not counted and weighed the substance, contained 30 bricks. It comes as no surprise that several police officers were involved in the landing and offloading of the drug plane. The firefight that ensued was presumably an exchange of gunfire between fellow policemen. Fortunately, no one was injured. We also conducted search of a white Nissan Rogue, which was left on the scene by the plane. And inside that Nissan Rogue, we found five assault rifles. One of the rifles we have identified to be that which was stolen from the police station in Sokots during a burglary. The other four are not um, known to us, but we have those in custody along with 17 magazines, each containing 30 rounds. A black sports utility vehicle belonging to Sergeant George Ferguson was found on the scene along with an arsenal of weapons. We recognize the vehicle to be a vehicle that was used by Sergeant Ferguson, who is assigned to operations office in Benopan. And so inside the vehicle, we also found some documents which, we, which contain or which bears 
the name of Sadden Ferguson. So we know for a fact that based on what we have found on the scene, police officers are involved in this latest plane landing. We believe that other than Sergeant Ferguson, that there may be two other police officers involved. We currently have those two police officers in custody and we're still seeking Sergeant Ferguson. Reporting for News 5, I am Isana Cayetano.